Cancer, welcome to your love reading. I'm going to take a look at uh, energies between you and your person, the person on your mind. This could be somebody you're currently with, hoping to be with. Oh, cards are flying out, which is your energy, chariot and the strength card. So we take that as a special message that you're showing up strong in your own reading and your spirit team is here to give you the messages to help you lead a life of your highest, greatest potential. So let's dive right in and see what is the energy between Cancer and the person on their mind right now. Bear in mind, this could be somebody from the past that you feel some kind of attachment with still. So it's a general reading. Please take the messages as they apply. So the energy between you and your person. We're starting off with the Ace of Swords. Oh, we've got the Fool. And we've got the King of Cups. Nice. Could be dealing with a Scorpio. A King of Cups for me is Scorpio energy. So I think this could be a brand new person. Maybe you've just, you know, um, had the conversation and let somebody know how you feel about them or somebody else has let you know how they feel about you. Um, and it's looking good. It's looking light and breezy. It's looking energetic. It's looking like, uh, you know, both parties want this. Um, yeah, it's looking pretty good. Okay, let's see. Uh, the person on your mind, what are their thoughts, feelings and intended outcome with you? The person on your mind, what are their thoughts? Page of Wands, what are their feelings for you? Okay, the Nine of Wands, and what is the outcome that they desire with you? The Ten of Swords, ooh. What cycle is coming to an end? What cycle is coming to an end? Yeah, and what cycle is opening up? Okay, I see, I see what's happening, and we've got the Eight of Pentacles at the bottom of the deck. So. Cancer, I feel this person, right, their thoughts are, you know, I think some good news has emerged in this connection. They're happy, they're playful, they're enjoying this energy. In their emotions, um, they do feel a little bit like either they don't want to give up on something or what's this nine of wands? What's this nine of wands in their emotions? The two of pentacles and the six of cups. And we've got the strength at the bottom of the deck. Okay, so they have taken this very interesting reading they've taken a decision and they know that you are their soulmate and they're not going to give up on it perhaps you guys have come out of a difficult time where you needed to have one of those difficult conversations um something needed to be ironed out let's put it like that and that has been ironed out with this ace of swords the truth has been spoken clarity has been restored and now your person is super clear that you know they are very invested in this connection you are their soulmate and they're very invested in this, okay? The bit that's ending for them is maybe somebody was not pulling enough weight or somebody was not giving enough to this connection. That period of, because sometimes the Six of Pentacles can mean like giving just about enough, you know, but not really pulling enough weight. Um, the Six of Pentacles is an interesting card. It has many different meanings. But in this context, I'm getting that, you know, maybe somebody was not putting in enough effort or somebody was kind of like half-assing it. I think that period is done and what they want to build with you is this happily ever after. They want to build something very stable with you. Maybe some of you guys are discussing getting married, taking things to the next level, maybe moving in, buying a home together, thinking about or discussing thoughts on families and whatnot. Yeah, this connection is elevating to the next level is what I'm seeing. I like this for you, Cancer. I do. Let's check your energy. Two of Swords. Yeah, in the reverse. So I read intuitively. I don't read reversals. But the fact that it kind of flew out like that is confirmation that both of you have come to a very clean and sort of aligned decision on where this connection is going. And both of you are on the same page. That's really nice. Okay. What are your thoughts, feelings and intended outcome with this person? Your thoughts are, ooh, look at that, Six of Pentacles. And your feelings for this person are the King of Swords. And what is the outcome that you desire with them? The Eight of Wands. Yeah, you want to build momentum with the Eight of Wands. You want things to progress, to move forward to the next level. So I think you guys have had some kind of discussion or you've had the chat. You know, if this is somebody you've been dating for a while, you've had the chat about you know, how you feel about one another and now you both parties want to invest in this equally. This is good. This is good. I think clarity has set in. Um, and like, like I was saying, Six of Pentacles can have 
different meanings depending on what's around it. And I see it sandwiched kind of between this page of wands, this king of swords, this two of pentacles. So I feel this decision made you really happy. It brought a lot of joy because maybe this was what you were hoping for. And then you figured that your partner and you are on the same page. This is looking good. Let's see what the angels have for you. What do you want Cancer to see about this connection? Messages for Cancer. Look for a sign. Okay, so maybe some of you are manifesting a certain outcome or a certain next step in this connection. You could look for a sign uh, and uh, your guides and your, and your spirit team would help you uh, by showing you the sign when it's the right time. You're ready. Oh, wow. Just when I said when it's the right time. Cancer, you're ready. You're raring to go. Okay. One more. We've got ask your angels. So see, I think th these two cards, look for a sign, ask your angels is inviting you to kind of take an approach which involves your spirit team, the universe, faith, God, religion, whatever is sacred to you. Like you have this higher power and you have this source energy that wants to help you. All you got to do is ask. So look for a sign, maybe if you meditate and if you journal, um, you know, you can close your eyes, take a few deep breaths, think about the situation at hand. And then the first thing that pops into your head, it could be an object, could be an animal, could be a song, something that could be your sign. And whenever you see that again, or you hear that song again, you know that your spirit team is around you. And that is your signal. You could even say, okay, if the outcome is yes, let's say I'll say a peacock, like peacocks for me are really uh, significant they always uh, convey transformation and lately i've been using a brand new tarot deck called the sufi tarot and when i've been doing my daily reads like i start my day with a morning meditation and then i just kind of pull one card for the day to see what energy surrounds me i've been seeing a lot of peacocks in that card and then i remembered that i have a ring which is um, the peacock ring so i started wearing it this week because i thought like my spirit team was kind of telling me that some big transformation is happening and I wanted to keep reminding myself of this beautiful energy that surrounds me. So the reason I'm sharing that with you um, is A, because I like peacocks and I wanted to let you know that. And two, just to tell you how signs work and how I use them in my daily life, if you know that is uh, helpful to you or if, you know, let me know in the comment section if you have any questions. I'm happy to talk more about that. Um, but yeah, ask your angels. They're here to help you. And let's see what other messages we have for you. We've got finances and career. Financial issues are a factor in your love life right now. So I think maybe you could be manifesting something around finances or maybe the conversation was about that. Or if you're looking to buy a home together, you needed to get your finances in order and have those slightly difficult conversations about money and spending. Pay attention to the red flags. The signs are cautioning you. So I think this, if you need any help with this, Stay connected to source, ask your angels. Um, but I think there could be, if you are missing any information, just make sure you're double checking everything, triple checking contracts when it comes to especially house buying. Attraction, you attract romantic love by enjoying this moment fully and you deserve love, you are lovable. I love this card because, you know, who doesn't um, need to be re reminded from time and time again that you deserve love, you are lovable, that we are enough the way we are. Um, and we don't have to cave into any sort of oh, belief systems or limiting beliefs or limiting thoughts. We are enough. So on that note, uh, I'll close out your reading, Cancer. I hope this resonated. If it did, please do hit that like button for me and subscribe to my channel. Take care. Bye-bye.